Good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome to Friday. It's quiet. No four-year-olds running around in the boutique. Um, though I did get lots of people wanted to see pictures of her. So the next time she's on, we'll do a little video so you guys can see what she looks like. I, I did sneak a little shot of her when she was running around back there oh, behind you, you. Yeah. Yeah. Most people are like, oh my gosh, she's your mini me. Yeah. But it's because my daughter in law and I look alike with the curly hair, even though my curly hair is nothing like her and her mom's. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, her mom is natural curly too. That was, mm -hmm. now that I think about it, that was amazing. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. She's like, oh, it's fine. I was like, no, your hair is beautiful. It's like really, like Shirley, and I don't even want to say Shirley Temple. It's just the little corkscrew. Little ringlets everywhere. Oh, it's yeah. beautiful. Beautiful. Well, thank you, Pam. I put on a dress. As Everly says, it's dress weather. So there we go. Yeah. I found a deal. I'm a deal shopper for clothing. I don't really like because I, um, I don't know about you guys. Do you hang on to your wardrobes forever? Yeah. Really? Yeah. How many closets do you have? Just the one. Just one closet? I mean, when something gets old enough, I get rid of it. Oh my gosh. But I don't. Thank you. I didn't grow up that way, so I don't do that. Well, I mean, I didn't get a lot of clothes, but I do. Uh, I just don't want to spend a lot of money on clothes. I like to go to TJ Maxx. Like this is. Maybe I got this at Nordstrom's Rack, but it was $50, and it's a Michael Kors, right? I'll have this for a while because this is my one of my favorite colors. But for the most part, I shop at TJ Maxx because yeah. I want to deal on clothes. They're Ross and Marshalls. Yeah. Nicole's. I do Trish Nicole's, says she has but... a t-shirt set 20 years old. Wow. One closet. Okay. Trish, do you have kids at home? Because I'm going to tell you, when your kids leave, your clothes go in other. Like, I now have a... <laughs> coat closet so I have like a small walk-in that's full of my stuff and then my former husband had his own that's become my coat closet so all my coats are in there and you end up and you have lots of room you're like oh I could use oh I want to like the jacket I wore yesterday like a tan leather jacket I never would have bought that but I have room now because I have every <laughs> closet in the house except for my daughter is she's uh, multi closets too and suitcases so Sharon says you have very then you guys have really good quality clothes I don't know it's so funny it's not as good quality now for oh no some of the stores mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. I change out the water and it's warm and it's so nice all right let's talk about our grand prize um, and then after the daily price, I'll show you my, um, project that I'm working on. Yep. Pam, Pam, you're like me. And I do give away stuff all, I'm always going through my closet. If I have not, I do this thing that you turn your hangers upside down backwards, right? So in a year, oh, whatever is backwards, I like that. you can give those away because you haven't used them in a year. Yeah. Some people will do like... A quarter or a season but I'm like no I just do it once a year turn them all backwards whatever even if I love it I haven't worn it in a year it doesn't need to stay in there that's a good so idea that's what I do I need Hello, to do Hello. that Hello. yeah I like to give away it's like you know my housekeeper normally gets most of them and her daughters always thank me for like oh my gosh that, you know this that I was like oh you're welcome I'd rather give it to someone than goodwill it yeah so all right monthly price so nice valued at $150 we have this uh, locally created uh, lined project bag two skeins of Noro Curie which is a retired yarn a pair of rainbow I am the rainbow sheep in of the family socks this gorgeous little cashmere goat three patterns which with this yarn you can do the medium size of all of them and somewhere soak is tucked in there we go. You guys know Soak is the official wool wash of Natique Yarns. <laughs> so fancy. I know. I was like, oh, I'm thinking like the Olympics, the official sponsor. Um, I like wool. I like Soak. And here's what I'm going to tell you. If you even have a spot on any of your other clothes, just rub that on. It works really, really well. Cleans it. Um, it's what I used on my spring fling there was a little bleed out i did take some pictures i used shout color catchers or any color catcher i think i found some other ones and i don't remember where hmm. 
Yeah, but I don't put, I'm not, um, I'm not cheap with them. Like I put like six of them in because if oh. one is good, six are better, <laughs> right? Because it absorbs more it, of it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's my thing. Hello, Susan Spicer. Hello, hello. All right. So then our daily prize, if you're new to Natique, we do a month. Oh, we didn't even talk about how do they enter. I'm going to let you talk about that while I get everything ready. So to enter for the grand prize, yes. every time you make a purchase, you get one entry per purchase. So the more purchases, the more entries you get. We will draw on May 1st, live on the video. Yep. Yeah. So exciting. So you have quite a few days left to enter. Our daily prize, which we do every day, we have a skein of KFI painted socks. I love it because it's a slow changing from one to the other. And our pattern monsoon on the lake is perfect for this. It is a fingering weight version of making circles in the sky, really luscious and small. Again, it comes in three different sizes. You have enough to do the small or the medium. This pattern, as well as the other patterns we showcase, can be found on our Ravelry store. We do have 195? I don't know. Whatever Some I said yesterday. Some ridiculously high number. 190s. <laughs> Hi, Natalie. Hi, Sandy. Um, that's how you can get entered. But our projects are um, the patterns that we design look harder than that they are. I like minimum effort, maximum look. So this is an eight stitch repeat and every other row is knit. Can't so really that. for the rows you have to pay attention, for you don't. It looks great in a self striping, it looks good in a solid. We've done ours out of the Apu, which mm. is oh, one of my favorites. It's a royal alpaca, but delicious. To I, I would love a shirt out of it. All right, let me get this to click open. There we go. How you get entered into the daily is so easy. It is all through engagement. So if you see something that you like, a color, you're just going to give us a tap, tap, tap. And every time you do that, you're going to get one entry in the daily prize. Every time you comment, you're going to get um, five entries for that. And then the quickest way to really bump up your um, entries is to share to your story, share to your feed. We're getting shares. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. All right, is the words. Good lordy. I need my glasses. Okay. They're, they're right here. I'm like, oh. Okay, so you do have to pop back in and let us know that you shared it. <gasps> Darla! I love it. All right, shared to my feed, shared to my friends. That's how you're going to get your 11 entries for every time that you do that. You guys can see, look at all the patterns I've pulled today. Wow. It's like, I'm on fire. All right, let's see right here. Let's see who is going to be the lucky winner of this prize. I like the anticipation. <laughs> Judith, Judith all right. Fruit Home, congratulations. Judith. You are the lucky winner Please. of this prize. I don't think you're local, Judith, if I remember correctly. So if you are, when you come in, let us know you have a prize and we will get it from the cabinet. If you're not local, next time you Make an order. Let us know in the notes you have a prize, and we will include it in your pretty pink package. Maybe a pretty pink pin to go in your pretty pink package. I like that flower one. What's everybody's favorite of these pins? Are they the new ones or the magnetic ones? The magnetic ones. Oh, I love those. Oh, yeah, the new ones. They're right there by the... And we sold a ton of those yesterday. Yeah, we did. All right, let me write this down. Judith has one month to pick up her prize. Yep. Otherwise, it goes back into the prize bin for be. some other lucky person. Pins we're talking about that we did yesterday's video. This one's fun. Mm-hmm. I think the price on them are, is so nice. It is. Under $15. All right, I think I would show you guys. 
because I tore out my work. Was that yesterday? I think so. I think so, yeah. So I haven't even measured oh, it. Yeah. So Much here bigger. we are. We're going to be just swatching. This is my real thing. Thank you, Darla. I'm curious, and then Susan can come in and show you guys why we like this amazing tool I'm going so I line it up it's hard because it's on a curve but I'm gonna line it up here and then I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen I don't know what that's what I'm supposed to be at uh, it was twenty was it twenty before I think I think you want twenty I know but you wanted it to grow, so whichever way that goes. Yes, but I it may have grown too much. Let me look. Yeah. Did you I'll go one it. size or two? I went up two because that's no. what it lended itself to be to. And I that's why I stopped last night. I was like, well, no. we'll stop yeah. to see. It's a nicer fabric, but for sure. I don't know if it's what you were after because I don't remember for sure. I'll tell you in a minute. Oh, it's that one? Mm -hmm. Okay. 20. Hmm. Better go down one. Now, what am I at? 18? Yeah, you See, that doesn't make sense. I don't know. Hmm. What am I on? I think I'm on a seven. Good Lord. See, this is what happens, you guys. I'll be over this project really soon. <laughs> We're getting there. This is a seven. You were on a six. I was on a five. Oh, oh. All right, well, I'm going to do a six. Let me do one more check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen. Well, it's, yeah. It lends itself to be a six again, going by the math of it. You know, hmm. one needle size up or down will give you one more or one less. Usually. This is what I would say, <laughs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> for fuck's sake, here we go again. This is ridiculously easy, but I can't get gauge. So, I'm gonna redo it. I'm gonna actually swatch on a six, and then I will do the math, because I think it's the cutest. Do we show them? Nope. Okay. Mm -mm. It's a secret. It's a contending <laughs> Olympic ah, sweater, yes. okay. but we're gonna do it out of a different yarn. I just wanted my first one to be out of something I like. Oh my goodness. All right. See, isn't it nice to know you're not the only one who doesn't get gauge. Oh, that's a real turkey. Because I want to just get started on it. Right. It's like easy, easy knitting. Just, All right. Just start on a six and let it be your swatch again. Yeah. I'm kind of over that, though. Because I would need to cast on a different size. Oh. If my gauge doesn't match, I have to figure True. out what size. Hmm. Mm. May not be this is why I start the Olympic sweaters early that may not be it I really need to swatch it in the yarn that we're gonna actually do um, but it'll be a lot easier than double stranding Sharon Peterson you are correct getting gauge is just sometimes a real treat okay what I decided to talk about today is uh, something that we sell so much of and we got fully restocked in all the colors it is coastal cotton and it is not most people I brought it in for dishcloth yarn because there's another fruity one that is really hard on your hands and it's stinky and not soft you guys know which one I'm talking about it's fruit and milk that's what I'm gonna say <laughs> you did say fruity <laughs> yeah oh, that's funny See that? you guys yeah so then I don't get in trouble it's a fruit and milk product yarn um, the name of it and it's really hard a lot of people use it for dishcloths and washcloths but it's not nice to work with so no. I I scoured last year the trade show in Chicago and this one company had a cotton that is had 50 colors I bought every single color that's right Trish it fades it that's does. why I don't like the other one um so this is coastal cotton we have 50 shades i'm only going to show you the pastels the neons and the mist ocean mist 
under $8 a skein. And then we're gonna show lots of ways to do it. Okay, I do love this like mini wind of this, right? It does look, to me, this reminds me of craft yarn, mm -hmm. big craft store yarn, but it does feed really nicely. It is 100% very soft cotton, 185 yards. It's a worsted weight. Look at, they have the standard, which I love that. So confidence in textiles. Um, it's really not harmful substances to even the workers, the plants, all that stuff. And really nice to work with. This is color 1037 Mallow, as you can see, under $8. Uh, really good yardage. And lots, I kind of did another thing. Lots of people are doing sweaters out of it, which I could see it. For being 100 grams, you're getting 185 yards. So it's not a heavy cotton that you would think of, but really, really pretty. So I'm going to show two colors. Then we're going to look at patterns because I have so many of this. Again, I'm only showing pastels right now. Then I'll show neons. Then I'll show speckles. We have 50 colors in the store. Um, so that was Mallow. It is the softest baby girl pink. Good morning, Pam. Okay, then we have this beautiful apricot, 1014. I would love a baby bounce baby blanket out of this. Oh, yeah. would be gorgeous, be putting nice. like cream in between. One more, and then we'll show stuff. <laughs> Printers decided There's to no one here but <laughs> us. That always it, makes me laugh. This is something. butter, soft, yeah. warm, it's really pretty. yellow. No, it's printing. Okay, it decided to, something must have been stuck in the itself. queue. Did oh. it do a second one? Yeah, but I never printed to it, but that's all right. Alrighty then. Good morning, good morning. Okay, of the three colors, what do you like best? Um, pink, apricot, butter. What for you? Pink. I know, the pink's beautiful. This yellow is pretty because it reminds me of like a baby chick. Yeah. That really, really soft. Hello, everyone. Good. All right. Let's talk about some really fun washcloths. This is grandma's dis dishcloth. I've done this a lot. This is how um, sometimes we teach little kids how to knit in the store. Um, you start small and there's lots of knit, knit, knitting and an increase. So you have a knit front and back over here and then knit the rest of the row, knit back, knit front and back. Maybe knit front and back on both, you do. Oh, knit front and back, knit the end of the yeah. row, knit front and back, knit the end of the row. I just love it. Until you've used half your yarn, then you start decreasing. I'm gonna be so random about this because I didn't kind of mix it up. Okay, here we go. Oh, I thought this was pretty. It's pretty. This is a free pattern, the Belgium waffle dishcloth. One of the ways that you can get, if you're doing photos in your dishcloths to stand out, you use a smaller needle. This said they used a three. I probably wouldn't go below a, a five. Yeah. So I do washcloths on worsted weight on a five, but really fun texture. I like that you get a wave here, even on the edges. That's just from the decreases that you're doing. Oh, that's pretty. Oh. Oh, I've done that one a million of that one. Yep. Yeah, this is a fun one. This is the almost lost washcloth. It's short rows. It is. And it then you three needle join it or you can seam it. I like to three needle bind off because it's easy. This is one of the sizes I use for washing my face. Yeah. Uh, Cause it's small. I have seven of them and then I put them in the wash. I just put them in my dirty hamper every day so that you're using something clean on your face the whole time. And I mean, from one, you can get quite a bit. Oh, I love that this. That one's fun. I've done this one many times. This is the ball band dishcloth. It used to be what was on the ball band of one of those yarns. And you use two different colors. This is, it's mosaic knitting. That's just slips. So you're only using one color at a time. The things I used to make before I knew they were, you know, a given technique. Right. I thought this is fun. Looks this cute. is a really fun mosaic uh, slip stitches. You could do, it could be like all in pink. It could be whatever color excites you. It could be your um, football color choice. 
Or your high school graduate colors. Exactly. Because that's coming. Again, mosaic knitting. This is only one color. I like the back so you can kind of see it. You're used doing two rows of black, two rows of the variegated. But the back is just as pretty. I know I had other things, so let me see. Oh, here's one. I thought this was fun. That's cute. This is a knit bento bag using three colors. A blue, a pink, and a variegated. I think that's really attractive. This would be a fun class to teach something different. And it's nice to have these cotton bags just tucked in your car when you're going somewhere. Mm -hmm. I even like the shorter handle. So you could put it all over your shoulder or put it on your wrist. Let me see how many people have made this. This was one, two, three colors. And she said she didn't get gauged, but who cares? Look how cute that is. How fun. Mm, love it. All right. Oh, I thought this was fun. I want to do a class on um, a hat, but I really loved this one. It's almost like there's wire in it. There might be. Yeah, to get that look to it. Oh, Lofty Loose. Oh, I know who that is. Sarah, she's coming to the store before. Nice. So cute. Get one and a half millimeter memory hat wire. Hmm. So cute. Beautiful. Crocheted on an H. I do like that one. All right, here we're going into some tops. This is the Rigmore's Summer Blouse. Both of these are made out of coastal cotton. Nice. It's really pretty. Mm-hmm. And look, she loves it. So cute. All right, more colors. This one, I would say, is a light pistachio. They call it Celadon. This is a very soft seafoam green. It lends itself to look more blue. So it's a blue green. This is, oh my gosh, I had it in a Celeste. So it doesn't even make sense. No, it doesn't, but it sure is pretty. Mm -hmm. Very soft sage. We have Moonstone. thought Moonstones were white. Yeah, they are. <laughs> we're confused. Yeah. This is powder blue, definitely lends itself to be gray. It's got a gray hue to it. And the last but not least in the pastels, we have wisteria. That one's pretty. I'm gonna pull it bounce because I really think that's a perfect that would be gorgeous. sweater for that. Hold on, let me do this one. Let you guys look at all the colors here while she's finding that pattern. Stacy, you like the Celadon and Celeste? Here we go. Bounces by Tin Can Knits. And it's the most beautiful rainbow blanket. I've made it for one of my sons. Um, probably that's the first blanket I've done out of worsted weight. I do, I'm not really a blanket person. I get bored. But I used so many different colors. Every row of his was a different color. This is an eight row repeat. And then it's separated by... Um, four rows of garter and then eight row garter. So there are a lot of ends to weave in. This is when I realized the Magic Double Knot has a failure rate of 35%. Um, and every time I go to his house, I just tie him in knots. <laughs> like I'm is. like, they're little tiny knots. They don't care. They fight over who gets to use it. Um, but beautiful. There's different sizes. There's a stroller, a throw, and a crib. Originally, it's at a DK weight. I just did worsted on a size 8 needle. And to kind of minimize the ends, you could do this color and the that. The garter is the same. So the lace and the garter is the same color. So you don't have the breaks in between. Yeah. That would make it less, I mean, you're half the ends to weave in on that. How many of you have made bounce? I've thought about it. 
I was thinking, what if we did, I have an idea. I have all these great ideas when I'm talking to you guys. Okay. There we go. Wisteria, I love, yeah. I love Beautiful. pastels. So pretty. All right, so we're going from um, light and easy. Let me find a few more patterns just to kick some loose. This is Spa Day Face Cloth. Um, face cloths, wash cloths, I, it's something that I always have going because they're very easy and I like to gift them to people. Um, for their birthdays or holidays or just I love you because it's just a little thoughtful gift that doesn't take too much time. So this is Spa Day Face Cloth. It's again a free pattern. Now it said, it's interesting because I pulled up who used Coastal Cotton. Yeah. But it is a worsted weight. So just, mm -hmm. I still would probably do a six though. Oh, I thought this was pretty. Gorgeous. This is pay attention. But isn't that beautiful? There's like a little, do you there see? There is, I like that. In that one line. Lots of seed stitch. I think that's very, very pretty. I would like a shirt out of that. So when I look at this, I think of little Lulu. Just taking that basic pattern and put something like this in it. City of Light dishcloth. Again, free pattern. They said a size three. I'm going to say a five because your fingers are going to fall off. I like that there's garter stitch at the edge, at the top and the bottom. It makes it so that it is not going to um, roll up. Question, would it be good for chemo caps? Um, No. I would say cumulus. Yeah, cumulus You for need sure. it a little bit softer, in my opinion. That is so cute. Okay. In honor of the um, emotional support chicken. How cute is this? Ginger and smudge. This is all made out of coastal cotton. Quick, easy. Maybe you're going to have to teach a class on that, I too. I know. I've looked at this pattern before, but I haven't done it yet. But I did find a really cute um, horse slash donkey, depending what ears you do. That one is so cute. Let's see. Okay, so cute. And I say just do it out of worsted with size 5 needles. You yeah. just get a little bit bigger of a cat. So cute. This one. <laughs> I like them both. That is very uh. cute. Here's That's Jillian's cute. Fat Cat, Fat Cat Pillow, ten and a half. That's more my style. All right, let's go to the neons because that we're going to go backwards. We have this beautiful purple called Violet, and I'll do it here because you can really see how they match up. Some of them match up really nicely. Um, this is color number 1027 Azure. We have color number 1022, lemon. Pretty. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Uh, color 1021, chlorophyll. <laughs> That's funny. And last but not least in the neons, color 1029, magenta. Well, at least they got that one right. Mm-hmm. Okay, a few more. I loved this one. This is the Sunburst Pot Holder. So it's That's double cute. thick. So you actually won't burn yourself. Lots of short row shaping. They knit it in a day, size five needle. Let me do this so she'll be able to find it. How cute are those? Wow, that is cute. This was fun. This is Tunisian crochet. Nice. The heartbeat. I'm kind of a fan of Tunisian. I just have to perfect what size hook I need for mm -hmm. the yarn. There's what it looks like. Really pretty using an H and a K hook. Two colors. So pretty. You can see the pooling you get in that one, but it's still very pretty. I thought this oh, wow. was fun. Little coasters. Tony Lipsy, she's going to be doing a book signing at the my next trade show. Very cute. Mm -hmm. Free pattern. This is a fun way to kind of practice your crochet skills. 
and I'll just use them. I'll make them small and put them under my house plants. So, oh, yeah. I, so I don't want doilies everywhere, but I do like the idea of protecting the furniture. Okay, this next one, I love the designer. This is Hinterm Steins dinner with my captain out of coastal cotton beautiful i feel like if you're a machine knitter you could do a lot of that on the machine i'll show you what it looks like now hers is a much lighter fabric so it's going to look different but still very pretty Oh, there, oh you go. there we go. So similar. Mhm. Mm I really like that one. I thought that was in my library, but let's put it in my queue. All right. I thought this was fun. Pops of color. This used five colors. Nice. You can see chlorophyll right there, <laughs> and then the blues there too. Yeah. I like doing stuff like this for baby blankets because I'm not bored. You're doing a strip and then you sew the strips together. So you do have to do a little bit of pre-planning, but not too bad. And that was five skeins. Not bad. Okay. Love bags like this. This is a crocheted bag. It almost looks knit. But I like this window pane that you get. It makes it um, lighter weight, not quite so heavy, and then your stuff can bulge out a little bit. I think it's one skein of each again. Nice. Yep. Maybe we could get Ray to crochet that for us. Maybe. All right, here we have the Knoll dishcloth. I thought this was pretty. Again, wow. crochet, but it's um, pretty easy to crochet with cotton, I think, even knit with it. It's a softer cotton. There's a little bit more give than what you would have if you were doing um, other stuff. All right, we're going to talk next about the Ocean Mist Collection. This is Sunrise Beach, so it's more of a dyed technique where it's their own version of speckling. Look at how pretty that is. It's gorgeous. Look at all the colors in there. Mm -hmm. And they use the same colors, so they go really nicely together. We have this beautiful Sunrise Paradise for all you purple peeps. If you want some purple, but not quite so much, this is Bondi Beach. Purple and green. Let me do it this way. We have, now this is more of a neutral one. I see like Santa Fe. This is called Bridge Water, but it's more of the summer colors. And last but not least in this lineup, we have color number 3004, Green's Pool. They're gorgeous. Uh, before, we're, we're gonna sh show you more patterns. We'll talk about what classes we have coming up and then we'll walk to the sections. You guys can actually see all the colors that are available on this. Okay, this was a really fun knit blanket. Nice. Mm -hmm. I like the weight of cotton for blankets. Oh, I thought this would be oh, fun. Ray made that one. Really? Yeah, the cumulus. Is it cute? Yeah. Oh. Very floppy, though. Hers, it's, I don't know if it's too loose. If, I think she did the in-between, the, the little balloon parts, too long. Yeah. So it's hers does not stand up. It's, very it's like floppy. a melted one. Yeah. So cute. Also, cumulus may be a little soft for structural stuff yeah. like this. So cute. Balloon dog. Oh, look at Tulsa Tea. How nice. pretty is that? And it just makes it really affordable. Really good yardage, really good price. I love that yellow and white. We 
Yeah. Stripes are two white, two yellow, two white, six yellow. Nice. Very but, pretty. Mm hmm I'm going to save that in the favorites because that's cute. Tulsta T. This just goes to show you. We already showed that. Oh, this one. This is a crocheted one, a bobble stitch hot pad, which would make it thick. Nice. I thought that was fun. Bobbles are always fun, whether you're knitting or crocheting. Oh, I thought this was pretty. Love letter top. Look at all the lace work on that. Wow. You would not get bored with that one. There are definitely pay attention sections, like this bobble heart. Pretty. And it took her like six days to make it. It's because there's no sleeves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's knit. Now the back has just as much as the front. Look at all that. Wow. Beautiful. Simple weave dishcloth. Just knits and pearls. Oh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'd mess that up. Right? Because mm -hmm. it's too easy. That's what I find. Oh, look at here's one with more oh, colors. Wow. Oh my God, how cute is that? Right. Mosaic. Oh my goodness, that's really cute. cute. Mm-hmm. With your favorite color. Nice. Bumblebee. Okay. I Oh Very my cute. gosh. Look at that cutie patootie. She's that tall. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, that size from a baby all the way up to a woman for XL. Love that. Nice. For $5. Wow. It's really cute. That'd be fun to do like coordinating sweaters. Mm-hmm. I thought this was another one. This is a petite knit pattern, Holger sweater. Don't know that name. No, because it's the babies. Yeah. Fun color blocking. And, oh, I got oh, this pretty. one. pretty. The tiki top. I love when there's yarn stores. So cute. Wow. Is that crochet? I think so, yeah. Pretty. More and more crochets coming into the store. I love it. So here's what it looks like. Tiki top. I like that. I would wear that for sure. I'd probably want to do it out of linen. Our linen. Mm, yeah. Because it'd be a little bit softer. And if you're a weaver, look at that. You could nice. make your own um, placemats. All right. How about we walk by Coastal Cotton first, then we'll do what we're okay. wearing. So, just so that you guys can see all the um, colors, again, 185 yards, machine wash, lay flat to dry. I say dry on low, um, but dry your swatch. But you can see, I didn't even showcase four shelves worth of the yarn. We've got all the grays, the greens, Look at all those reds and pinks and peaches and creams and taupes and burgundy. So many good colors. And um, the ocean mists are under 10 and the solids are under 8. So really, really nice. All right, let's go see what's on the calendar for the next few weeks to a month. We have lots of options. Um, starting with, I have to look at the dates. Well, hmm, I'm going to just start here. The Charming Chicken starts Saturday. If you have not signed up, Susan does have two spots available for you. It is short row shaping. You can see it's all around. Jilda is toting pot pie <laughs> and everyone is taking their picture with it. It's adorable. We have the LYS 2024 via Zoom. That is going to be Saturday, May 18th from 11 to 12. Only one session? Yeah. Okay. That's good. Su Susan knit it, so yeah. she's telling me what it needs to be. 
Um, all right, May 25th, we have a one hour class and we are teaching the Tranquil Tides Blanket. It's reversible. It's using two different colors of cumulus, one rainbow and one solid. It's a nice little small size. I think it's really pretty. You're doing 500 yards of each, so it's a thousand yards. It ends up being, I feel like we only did, it's, oh no. No, it's one. One of each. One of each. So how cute is that? But you could definitely make it bigger. Learn all the skills to make this fun, really soft cotton. This is the Cumulus Israeli Mako Cotton. Or Mako. Mako, Mako, tomato, tomato. It is great. I'm really excited about teaching this one. I think that is stunning. That is Pretty in Linen. That is using one skein of um, Linello for this one, but we also have Pride or Linen Whisper would be gorgeous. And you will get all the tips and tricks to do that. No pre-work, just gather your supplies. Be ready to learn a new class. I'm trying to think, was there something else? We also... Um. The one you're wearing. Oh, the one I'm wearing. Well, here we are. When is this one? May 7th. This is coming up? Yeah. This is our newest pattern. Knit with one skein of um, Silky Twist and a half skein of Beaded Silk and Sequins. We do have these kits already set up for you where we put it together to make it nice and easy. I love this one. I know, that one's gorgeous. We may need to, I think we need a sign for that. I'm ready. We'll put that on the list. All right. I think that might be it. I know we have upcoming Persian tiles on Saturday, but as always, if there is a class you're interested in us teaching, we would love to accommodate you. I just wrote down two things today to do some classes on, but what am I wearing? This is our pattern, Lagoon Mirage, knit out of Silky Twist and Beaded Silken Sequins. I think it's beautiful. Just a little hit of Beaded Silk, that's why you only have to do a half skein. Um, and we really like being able to kit it together for you, so it's um, easy to do. This would be good for um, have a ball. Oh, yes, it would. Easy, fun, fast. All right, so that's what I'm wearing. I forgot my project in the back. All right, well, I was going to wear wrap it real good. You were? <laughs> yeah. Ah, that's all right. You can wear it tomorrow. Yeah. All right, my lovelies, we are off. Thank you for watching us. Um, I believe all the orders are packed so far. Ready to go? Yeah. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, constructive criticism, reach out to me directly at hello at Natik Yarns. Otherwise, come on in and join us today. Tomorrow, we have beautiful pink velvet chairs. We've got a few classes, but when classes aren't being taught, you're welcome to sit at our beautiful round table under our chandelier. All right, lovelies, have an amazing day, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.